Hi, I'm Mike Patrick, and this is how to do a top of the fist SpongeBob vanish. You simply place the ball into the hand below, and it disappears. It's over here. Uh, the way this works is you place the hand on top, and you're going to simulate pushing this into your hand. What I do is I just place this here, and I just cover it. I more or less just mash it with my hand as if I'm just pushing it in very um, caveman style, if you will. But I just clip it with my thumb like this. So when I go like this, boop. Sometimes you'll want to push it a little bit with another finger just to make it look like it goes in all the way, and you can make it disappear. Uh, there are alternative vanishes. There are a lot of different ways of doing it, but in certain contexts, this works really well. The way I usually use it, I have a bigger ball for this, is I would take a sponge ball, I go like this, and it becomes a larger sponge ball. This is pretty subtle. I usually get one that's about three or four inches long, but you can use this to make it turn into any object. Let me see here. Like, for example, if I had a ball, I could go like this, and then it turns into a handkerchief. So all you do is you would have the object you wish it to change into in your hand to begin with. And the beauty of the top of the fist vanish is that you don't need to open your hand like in a normal vanish like this. This hand stays closed. So you simply place the ball on top of your hand, pretend to put it inside, blow, and then it changes into anything that you want it to. That's the top of the fist vanish.